Right, you trim them all up like that and you cut them right on off up here somewhere and you have yourself a good old walking stick. Straight from a biting goat. They're biting goat walking sticks. <laughs> Call her old master, that's right. Uh huh. And there's Minoyita. <laughs> oh, she's just a little minnow. You ain't got nothing in there. You ain't got nothing in there. Look at that. You ain't got nothing in there. Come in. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, that's their domain. Yeah, I already ran uh, two buckets classified. This one and that one. I got to classify this guy out. And maybe about ten more. And I'll be caught up again. Yeah, praise God. I'll bring you in on the pan here in a second. I go inside for a couple of minutes. That's that. It's snowing on it. We're good. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, clean this dude out. Maybe test the pan. You can see I already tested it, of course, right? And of course I did. Anyway, I'll put some of that uh, material we just ran right out of there. Hey, sure, a womb right out of there, and <coughs> right on in here. That's right. Yeah, also, I didn't do anything to the box here. I just shut it off. See, it's got a couple of pieces of uh, rock that survived. And uh, all the holes are basically plugged except one. And yeah, so I don't care about the holes. The holes don't do anything anyway. I was uh, having a brain fart or something. But uh, anyway, I just popped right off so sweetly. That's so nice. We'll just slide this dude right on down here, such as that. all that black sand now. Get it all back in one pile here again. 
Yeah, almost all black sand now. Tiny, tiny bit of blondes in there. Just trying to wash it all back together here one time. See if those riffles do anything for us. A lot of water in there. I caught a bunch of my lead out in the out there. <laughs> in the driveway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Get over there. Let's keep washing it back. See if we can see any gold on in here. A lot of lead. I gotta make a new target thing because uh, obviously I'm getting a little piece of shrapnel flying around 40, 50 feet away from the target. Well, those little drops work pretty good as far as holding the. Those are all gold nuggets, it'd be great. <laughs> I think you can see those, right? Oh, where are you at? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're there. Okay. Uh, yeah. I do see some gold, though. Some gold right here. It's hard to see amongst so much lead. <laughs> Let me see if I can skiff off a smidge more here. Yeah, those drops working pretty good. I got a redesign coming too already. That's I'm printing right now. <laughs> that has a little better drops, a little better idea, I think. These are all the same kind of soft bend. You know, they, they go down, but they're curved, right? And they kind of curve back up. Well, the new ones, uh, the inside one here is gonna be quite sharp, you know, pretty straight wall. And then this one's gonna be a little bit less and then a little bit less. So hopefully the lighter materials it washes out, it doesn't get trapped as easily. And uh, it works pretty good as is, it looks like, but uh, I just had that idea and I think it would work better and I think it will. I can see some gold on in there, but uh, dang, this lead is blocking the show here. Sure, a little bit, you know. See, that's a piece of gold right there. So let me get him off to the side here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit of water. You can do miracles, right? A little piece. It was a little chunky piece. I can feel him pretty good. You know, he's tiny, he's chunky. I like the tiny, chunky ones and the big, fat, chunky ones. There's another little piece. Back to the drawing board once more. This is a lead. Piece of gold.